What's up YouTube? It is your boy JB and we are here today with the review for Love and Hip VH1 Presents Family Reunion Love and Hip Hop Edition. All right, guys, so this is season two of the show. So we did the first season and the first season was actually good. Uh, it was, I will say season one was a lot better than what we got with Love and Hip Hop Atlanta and Love and Hip Hop Miami. So I enjoyed it. So we're going to start with, so we're going to continue this on. So we're going to review season two. So this is season two, episode number one. And the episode was titled When Friends Are Like Family, you guys. Now, before we go ahead and get into this review, if you guys are watching this video or any other on the channel and are not yet subscribed to the channel, then I'm going to need you guys to do me a big, huge favor and, and stop taking me on in this date and having me pay for it at the end of it. Do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on, share the video, and you guys, with that out the way, without further ado, let's talk about Love & Hip Hop's family reunion, shall we? All right, you guys, so this season, we have a new batch of cast members, right? And a lot of these cast members, when I started looking at them, I'm like, wait a minute, this person had an issue with this person, this person had an issue with that person, da 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 Like, it's a lot of people on this show that had an issue with one another, right? So, this um, trip is being put on by Mimi Faust, as well as Jonathan and Brooke Valentine from Love & Hip Hop Hollywood, right? Brooke let us know that she and Marcus are married to each other now, Congratulations to them. I know they have a little girl. She is so cute, right? So they are down there in San Diego to have fun for one week, right? So let us go ahead and discuss the cast. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the pictures of the cast up here so that way you guys know who I'm talking about. So, and I'm going to, I got the picture from VH1's YouTube, not YouTube, but VH1's Instagram page. So I'm going to do that. So the first people that we'll see um, is... <laughs> The sister wives and their, and their um, main husband, that is Dirty Feet Pete, Amina, and Tara, right? We got those two. Then we got Stevie J and Mimi Faust from Love & Hip Hop Miami, not Miami, Atlanta, which is interesting, right? I thought Stevie J was under contract with WeTV. So it is, you know, we got, we got Stevie, right? Then we have... Cisco Rosado, who looks like Uncle Fester and Uncle Fatso. And then we got um, Rubbin Pennies from Love & Hip Hop New York. We have from Love & Hip Hop Hollywood, we got Brooke Valentine, Marcus Black, and Booby Gibson. Booby and that slow ass talk he do. So you know me, I'm trying to get to know sin a little bit better. So. We got so we got that couple out. We got them out the way. That trio out the way. Then we have the other the, another trio is Erica Mena, Safari Samuels, and Sin Santana. So technically, Safari originated from Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, migrated to New York, then migrated down to Atlanta. Erica, she started in New York, migrated down to Atlanta, right? Sin is still in New, you know, and it's so interesting, right? So we're going to stop right here and just for a second, just to, we're talking about the cast. Two of the Love & Hip Hop franchises, what are they going to do with them? New York and Hollywood. We know that Atlanta and Miami filmed a season, but Hollywood and New York have yet to film anything that I know of. So I wonder what VH1 is going to do with Love & Hip Hop New York and Love & Hip Hop you know, Hollywood. We'll see. So then we have next up, uh, we have Yo-Yo is there and we have Shekinah from Yo-Yo from Love & Hip Hop Hollywood and Shekinah from Love & Hip Hop Atlanta. And then let's see, have I, and then we also have Joel Santana with them teeth and that lisp and Kim Bella. So yeah, so I think we've named, we've named almost everybody except for the last three. Bobby Lights from Love and Hip Hop uh, Miami, Zell Gags from Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, and Jonathan's old screaming ass from Love and Hip Hop New York. Oh, Jesus be the Jesus be offense with that. So did I get everybody? We got Sin, Jonathan, Kimbella, Jewels, Uncles, uh, Fatso, Rubbin Pennies, Erica Mena, Peter, Dirty Feet Pete, 
Tara and her sister wife Amina, Mimi, Stevie, Shekinah, Marcus, Brooke, Booby, Yo-Yo, Safari, Zell, and Bobby. So yeah, that is the cast. So we're going to go ahead and move forward, you guys. So this season looks like it's going to be some shit, right? Because like I said, a lot of these people have issues with each other. Like, let's just go down the line of the people that I know for a fact has had issues with each other. Sin and Erica have had issues with each other, right? Sin, not Sin and Erica. Sin and, yeah, Sin and Erica have had issues with each other. Erica and Kim Bella have fought season two. Erica and Robin Pennies have history. Erica and Peter have history. Like, what the fuck? Like, if you just go off of that, and then we all know, the one thing that I forgot about, which we'll talk about it later, we'll talk about it later, is who else Erica had issues with. And I'm like, oh my God, I literally forgot about that. But damn, if you just think about Erica Mena, and you, 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 let's start throwing her husband, right? Then let's go to Love and Hip Hop, you know, uh, Hollywood. Shit. Marcus, Brooke, and Booby. We know that they've had a little, you know, triangle at one point. I really think that that was only for a story. I really think that that was just a storyline. I really do really do really really do and we know Mimi and Stevie they got their issues so this season look like they got a little drama with them right so the first day we have everyone showing up right now I will preference this by saying I forgot about I didn't forget about the episode coming on last night what happened was I forgot to set the DVR to record so I had to watch it on YouTube so I if I miss things definitely feel free you guys to drop down into the comment section and be like hey jb they did this and this and this and that and i'm cool with that you guys so day one mimi is hosting the event and you guys remember that was what the thing was the theme was last season with the first season each day that they were there someone was going to host some kind of an event for them to do right so today is mimi's day so mimi is hosting this um barbecue party on the beach and they're wearing all white i went ooh. You know, I don't do all white parties because that is just not for me. Because especially if we're doing something where we're eating and if it's barbecue or any kind of food, I'm going to probably more than likely get the food on my clothes. Just being honest with you guys, right? So we see as, you know, Mimi's there, then Jonathan and Brooke join her, right? So they're talking about who all they invited. And Jonathan told Mimi, like, he invited Stevie. So that way, you know, she and Stevie can, you know, Kind of get a glimpse at what co-parenting look like. I'm like, from who? The sister wives? Because those are the only people that co-parent. The sister wives. I was like, oh, okay, I guess. Now, here is my thing. Of all the people in the world to invite to this show, why did they invite Zell? I don't, you know, Bobby, I, I, Bobby I do like. I just think Bobby is a bit extra, right? And even with Jonathan, Jonathan just screams too much for me, right? Jonathan, that's all it is with Jonathan. Jonathan just fucking screams too much, but Zell gags. Okay. So, here's something. So, when Dirty Feet Pete and Uncle um, Fatso joined, these two fools, you know what? I did remember, I do remember this, seeing this on Instagram, but I never knew that it, I never knew that it came to the light of day. Did you guys watch the fight between um, Dirty Feet Pete and Uncle Fatso? Because I sure the fuck didn't. And then they said it was on pay-per-view. I'm like, who the fuck paid for that? So we watching the two old-ass geezers fight. Child, if y'all say so, it, w it definitely wouldn't have been me, right? So then we see, you know, Duel, he starts talking. I'm like, oh, his teeth. They're nice, but you still got that lisp a little bit. How do you get new teeth and you got a lisp? Uh, Jesus Christ, Jesus the Christ. Then the sister wives show up. That is Tara and Amina. Tara and Amina let us know that they both get along with each other now. I'm like, well, I'm I would hope so, right? Because neither one of you at this point are with Peter. So, what would you two have an issue with? And you guys both have children by him. You got actually don't they have two kids with him? I know Amina has her daughters, and actually scratch that. Amina has her daughters. And Tara has three kids with them. Because wasn't Tara and Amina pregnant at this? Oh, yes, they were. Child Peter, how did you? Mm. 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 Then we see Erica. 
Erica shows up, right? And they showed a they showed a montage of Erica, especially Erica with Sin, right? And I was just looking at Erica then and Erica now. It's like, wow, Erica, you have really done a lot. I thought it was just those teeth, those new teeth she got. No, you've done some, I mean, you've done a lot of work to your face. You still look the same, but not like you did when we first met you on Love and Hip Hop. But okay. Um, so this is the part I was telling you guys that I forgot about, right? So I literally forgot about Erica and um, Bobby, right? So I forgot about this whole thing about Bobby was out with his friends and Eric, one of Erica's friends was there and his her friend assaulted him. I literally, honestly forgot about that. And until he said something about it, I was like, oh shit, that did happen. Literally forgot about it. Literally forgot about it. All right, you guys, we're going we're gonna to move on. All right, you guys, so we see um, as Brooke went up to Erica, and Erica, you know, she was talking to Erica, asking how things between she and Safari at this point, right? Erica says that, you know, she's still dealing with the things from Safari, and, you know, she's talking about the fact that she is two months postpartum. I was like, wow, so two months postpartum, so you literally came on this show after, well, no, not after, you came on this show during the time that Love and Hip Hop Atlanta was filming and all that shit was going on in the blogs with y'all. I'm like, damn. Like I say with Erica and Safari, it makes you wonder if things are this is storyline. Because Erica, I mean, not Erica, but Brooke asked her about the divorce and she says she's still dealing, right? So Brooke told her that she invited Safari there, right? Because what she wants is for Erica and Safari to work things out. But, you know, Erica says she doesn't know if she can trust Safari. Honestly, the way that Safari acts, I don't blame it, right? And then, I think that might come later in the episode, I think. But if it, it's something that I want to talk about, and we'll get to it, right? So then we see Booby and his slow talking self. So Booby is over there trying to get to no sin. You know, I was like, oh my God, Booby, speak up, talk louder. So this is the part where I said, if I'm, you know, early in the review, I said, if I miss things, guys, let me know, because there was some, because the, the the stream that I watched was, it looked like it was cut and paste, but hey, it is what it is, because we saw, I saw Booby talking to Sam for one second, then boom, we go to, uh, well, no, it really wasn't that, what it was, was Booby and Sam were talking, then Jonathan was talking to Mimi, asking her, was she a vegetarian, so she said, no, she's a pescatarian, and then boom, it flips right over to the old ass people arguing about that god dang on fight on pay-per-view. I was with Shekinah. Shekinah was like, what the hell is going on over here? So she went over there and she talked to Cisco, Uncle Fester, Uncle Fester, Uncle, um, hold on you guys. She went and talked to Uncle Fester, Uncle uh, Fatso. And I was just like, oh my God, what the hell? And then her Dirty Feet P got into it. I'm like, what the but you know what that is how dirty pp is because i mean if you guys remember love and hip-hop new york when him and erica got into it you can't handle my mouth motherfucker remember that so i was just like oh my god damn y'all just literally got here and you already arguing mm -mm -mm. oh god you guys so we're gonna pause here and move forward all right you guys so next up let's talk about rubbing pennies it was so cringeworthy the way he was with erica i was just like oh you know she's a married woman right like you flirting with her and all this shit. I'm like, that is a married woman. And he, uh, I was just like, ooh, I, I really cringe watching that. Because Shekinah and somebody else said something to him about it. I'm like, oh, God, he don't care. So then we got a little performance from Jewel's What's Up. I ain't going to even go to the song because I don't want to get a copyright. But hey, y'all know the song. So then we see Booby. So Booby is, I mean, he really trying to, you know, impress on Sin and, you know, get to know Sin. Asking Sin what she, you know, what she looking for and all this kind of stuff. I'm like, oh. Then we at one point see them holding hands. I was like, oh, okay, Sin. Go for it, right? So then we see Sin. So she's talking to Booby, right, about her, you know, you guys. So now this I did remember. And I actually remembered it. I remembered it and I was, my memory was jogged by it by Ashley Miller who mentioned it in one of her videos that I was watching last week. 
Um, actually, I think it was her Black Ink Crew Chicago review that she did. The fact that Erica... <laughs> So you guys know, Erica has the little baby legend with Safari, right? So you know, it's typical these days for people to make an Instagram page for their baby, right? So Erica allegedly, because Erica denies it, Erica allegedly went and made went and made a burner page that she used to use to troll Sin and turned it into her son's account, right? But what Erica f allegedly forgot to do was go back into her history and delete all the comments and things that she well you can't see what people like these anymore but definitely delete what she has said on sin's page and sim's like i blocked that did she say she blocked the bitch she said she blocked something right so then we see erica and erica is talking to mimi and shekinah right so they're asking erica you know what changed with you and safari right and Erica says it was after she had her kids. I'm like, damn, so your husband really flipped up on you when she gave him two children. Safari, if that is true, my dude, you ain't shit, right? So then she kind of asked Erica about the Instagram stuff, and Erica says, that's a lie. Okay, Erica, you stick to that lie. I mean, you stick to that, you stick to that story. Sorry, I'm going to say lie. You stick to that. So then we move over to, I can't with the creep squad. With the creep squad, I can't with them. Because we've been doing this same song and dance with the Creep Squad for years at this point, right? Where they want to make up with you. They want to fix the brotherhood. They want to do this. They want to do that. But then they always end up fighting each other. And the two who always end up fighting each other is Uncle Fester, Uncle Spatso, and Dirty Feet Pete. I am so glad that they did not bring DJ Cornball because DJ Cornball just gets on my nerves. So we find out that Uncle Fatso, he resents his brothers because they get to spend time with their kids and he ain't saw his kids in six months. Um don't shoot, don't shoot me, you guys. Don't, don't, don't shoot the messenger. Don't don't hurt me. Don't come at me, right? But I do have one question. Why aren't you able to see your kids? Like, did something happen between you and your kids' mother? Like, I feel like Cisco is leaving a whole lot out because there's got to be a reason why you can't you ain't saw your kids in six months You did something. I'm not I, I, I or you and I, you know what? Well, let me not say that right because nine times sometimes you don't have to do anything, right? There are women out there not a lot But there are women out there that will keep their kids away from the, the father just for the fuck of it, right? but so it could be an instance of that or it could be What did you do? So I'm gonna I'm leave it I'm gonna leave it at that, right? But we're gonna move on, you guys. So they're gonna have game night, right? So we see boob we see Bobby, these bees, Booby and Bobby. Why don't they get those two? We see Bobby, right? So it's Bobby, it's Sin, and it's Jonathan, right? So they're discussing Erica. Meanwhile, we see Erica. She is over there with, I believe that was Amina. She was with, right? So they're talking, right? Bobby, Sin, and Jonathan, right? And they're talking about. Which, like I said, I have forgot that, you know, Erica and Bobby had any kind of interact. Well, they didn't have an interaction. Her friend assaulted him. And, you know, they talk about the fake page. And I will give Jonathan his props, right? Because so far, Jonathan is not screaming at the top of his damn lungs, annoying the shit out of me. It's only episode one. But, you know, Jonathan's like, why don't y'all just have a conversation with her, right? He says, because, you know, the Erica that I've been talking to, I've talked to her you know, here and there this last year, and she seems like a, a different, a completely different person than what she has been. And you know what I will say, <clears throat> especially from what we saw on Love and Hip Hop, I agree. I don't see the Erica Mena that, I don't see the Erica Mena, ooh, 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 ooh. I just thought about somebody else that got into what the Erica Mena has an issue with, <laughs> ooh. How did I forget that one? Erica Mena and Stevie J. Oh my God. How did I forget that one? Erica Mena and Stevie J. I literally forgot that those two got into it on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Now this is going to be interesting because you guys remember that reunion and I remember Rox went to that reunion and she was talking about how nasty Stevie was at that reunion. Oh, that is going to be an interesting one, right? But yeah, I do. Th I don't see you know the Erica that we've saw of the past with you know the one that got into it with Stevie, um, Dirty Feet Pete. 
Kimbella over the last few years. I mean, she still surfaced on social media, like when she she just accused that woman of stealing her stuff, and then she issued that apology. That woman told her girl bye. I would do the same thing, Erica girl bye. But hey, you guys, that's the first episode of Love and Hip Hop. VH1 presents um, Family Reunion, VH1's Family Reunion Love and Hip Hop Edition. That's it. Like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell button so you guys are notified when I drop anything else. Share the video and into the next one, you guys. Stay safe out there. Take care of yourselves. Remember to wash your hands, wear a mask, socially distance, be blessed, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.